Hey y'all, Steve here. Hey, I'm in Final Cut Pro 10 right now, and Houston, we have a problem. We've got a problem with the dreaded vertical video, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Somebody whips out their their iPhone or their Android or whatever, and they shoot video in this position instead of the proper horizontal position to make more pleasing video you know I'm trying to work with wifey and she's getting much much better but there have been times I've seen her grab her iPhone do this and start shooting a video and I go no you know and it's got oh lord please turn it this way so she's getting much better and she about shoots like this all the time but anyway what do you do if you've got vertical video maybe you want to edit it upload it to YouTube and just make it look nicer so I thought I would show you some things give you some ideas this is not you know the end all to editing vertical video but maybe it'll give you some ideas some of the things that I do because I sometimes get these type of videos from a client and I have to coach my clients as well but they send me stuff sometimes and want me to do things so I try to make them look as good as possible so I know I'm rambling let's get right to it so we've got our video here I just went outside it's raining nasty but I shot this in my backyard and here we go just some uh, few of the ornaments my wife has out some flowers that look like they're on the verge of death but that's okay that's what we got so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I hate the black background the bar so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit my option key on this clip I've got the clip highlighted you can see it in yellow so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit my option key click my mouse and I'm gonna drag straight up here we go and what that what I just did is I duplicated that clip so now I've got the same exact clip on two different parts of my timeline so they're both the same so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this top clip I'm gonna hit the V on my keyboard I'm gonna dither that out so that that particular clip is now dead okay it is dead to me dead so I'm gonna click the bottom click now here here's where it's gonna get interesting what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right here I'm gonna hit my transform button and you see my little my little draggy balls right here what I'm gonna do is I am going to drag this out and completely fill the frame now I can do it with my mouse or I can go over here to my inspector I can scroll down and where it says spatial conform I can hit fill well I didn't quite pull it out enough but that's okay let's go ahead and let's just fill that frame with that bottom clip so now let's reactivate the top clip I'm going to hit V again, reactivate. So see what we've got? We've got this vertical video on top of the, uh, uh, the same clip, which I have greatly expanded out. And it looks, you know, it would look terrible by itself. So let's, let's dither out the top clip again. Let's go and activate the bottom clip. Now what I'm going to do here is I am going to go into my effects all of my effects I'm gonna type in Gaussian I'm looking for a Gaussian blur and there it is I'm gonna take this effect and I'm gonna drop it on the bottom clip so now I have a completely blurred out bottom clip so I'm gonna hit the play just let that run a second can't really see anything I'm gonna adjust it a little bit up here in the top right in the inspector I can adjust the amount so I'm gonna pull that to my left a little bit I'm gonna reduce that amount I kinda of want you to see a little bit of that so let's hit the space bar I'm gonna play it a little bit so there you go now let's go back and reactivate that top clip by highlighting it 
hitting the V. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this in and I'm going to transform it just a little bit. Now let's play it a little bit. Now you can see it's got a totally different effect to it now. It's still that same vertical video, but actually now it's a little more pleasant for me to watch. So what I might do is I might just pull this out a little bit. I could fill the frame. I could make it smaller. I could keyframe keyframe it. But let's leave it right there. So let's work on this one a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a drop shadow. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to type in drop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a drop shadow and put it on top of that clip. And look what it did. You can see the drop shadow around the edges makes the clip a little more attractive to me. So there you go. There's some of that dreaded vertical video. And it's already looking better. I can at least watch it now. I'm going to pull the edges out a little bit. And another thing I might want to do is in the center, you've got this little center, and you can offset it. You can tilt it. I think some of these for still photos and videos actually make for a more interesting video. So let's run it back a little bit, play it. So you can see we've done a couple things to basically smooth out and make the vertical video a little more pleasing to watch. Now one other thing I might do, I might take my head, scrub my uh, video scrubber all the way back to the bit, beginning of this clip. I've got my top clip highlighted and I'm going to keyframe this a little bit. So I'm going to click the keyframe. This is my beginning point. Okay, and what we're going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I want the video to start out about right there and I'm gonna pull it in and make it smaller okay and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag my scrubber all the way to the end I'm gonna hit the keyframe once again this is how I want the video to end so what I'm gonna do is let's say I want it to look like this when this clip ends and I am going just to pull that out now this is where I'm telling Final Cut Pro to end my clip. So in between, let's see how it looks. We'll hit the space bar. Now see what it's doing? The size of the clip is growing. It's slightly turning. It still has an interesting effect. I don't lose that video clip that I may have otherwise wanted to use. This is more pleasing to my viewers. It's more pleasing to me. So that's how, these are just a couple of ideas that you may want to use if you get some of that dreaded vertical video, but you want to use the clip, okay? So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this is helpful. Don't throw away those vertical video clips. Don't put hit the little trash icon just yet. You may be able to use it, okay? All right, I'll see all of you in my next video.